sure it's not good on the other foot. I thought she'd stand good here, too. <laughs> I guess you can't. Brooke did? Yep. Hey, Mama. Easy. All right, I had to mute the clip right there because you could hear K-Love playing on the radio in the background, and I don't want to get in trouble for a copyright infringement on this video. But you can see this is a, you can't see, I guess, but this is a little two-year-old racehorse filly, probably her second set of shoes. She had a pair of steel plates on the front when uh, I guess she got to this farm. I think that probably her first set. And uh, I'm kind of laughing at myself watching this because I've, I've been, haven't probably shooed more than maybe one or two horses in the last six weeks or so. I've been playing music and working on getting ready to go to the studio and kind of enjoying the time off. But uh, you can see I'm, well, I can see I was pretty clumsy with my nippers kind of embarrassing to put that out in the public but it's all right you can see how it really is sometimes and uh i hate to have to mute the clip because we were kind of joking about or laughing at this little horse moving around she's doing pretty well for her for his for her age and experience and she's nice and kind of a small baby nice and easy to hold on to she's no, no kind of trouble but um i really like shoeing race horses you can see this is it's pretty simple i mean there's infinite nuance that can go into it as far as when you have horses working at a terminal velocity and you can see the changes in their feet when they you know when they get sore in a in an ankle or something you can or i can always tell if a horse is getting hawk sore a lot of times i can tell they're getting sore before anybody else does just by the way they're kind of wearing their back feet you can see a stifle coming and but at it's really at most basic 
level just tacking shoot race plates on to me is is just the funnest part of horseshoeing and you get paid well for it and you just what's in this video you do that four times and depending on where you are in the country they'll pay you anywhere from 125 to 200 dollars or more in some places i'm on the low end of that here in arkansas but it's to me shoeing racehorses is easy it's i've been doing i've been on the track off and on since about 2006 and uh i've had a good time on the track and i despite the fact that you know a lot of a lot of good horseshoers look down on the race platers so to speak but uh and just like anywhere else you got a percentage of guys that just there to get paid and don't pay that much attention and go fast and but i don't think that's an exclusive property of a racetrack shoers so uh i like doing it i like shoeing race horses and i like shaping shoes right there underneath them and uh i i think i've gotten pretty good at it you know just over the years getting some horses that i thought i could improve and buying you know buying one that's a little sore and helping their feet out over a few months getting them get their all the body soreness gone from the bad shoeing and seeing them run again make some money winning races i'm not saying you make a pile of money that way but it's fun to gamble if you got a gambling streak like i do anyway this video is the first one first one in a while i just got back like i have like i said i haven't been shooting any horses hardly or have not shoot very many and uh kind of feel bad all my good subscribers have been to this channel i've been slacking haven't put any new content out but i'm starting again here i got several to shoe over the next few days or weeks this was a, one of my first ones back after a while like i said and then i've ended up doing several race horses this week and uh i got more to go so i got to shoe all of mine here pretty shortly <laughs> and and as usual if you like this video hope you like it and subscribe and check out my my sponsor which is me and my sub stack at st eloy nation.substack.com i'm collecting the natural elite to have a party we're going to beat the the uh, davos technocrat piece of shit bug pushers people that want you to eat cricket meal and live in a pod and put your mask on kind of want to fight back just by celebrating what it is to be truly human by eating beef we're going to promote using cash and buying gold and uh you know playing music drinking and dancing with your fellow man <laughs> we're gonna have a party one of these days and i hope you if that sounds interesting to you and you're not a communist or some variety of a pervert hope you'll check out the website thanks for watching